Hi, Brent Tech here. Red Tech is made simple. Currently in both Windows 10 and 11, as many of you do know, Microsoft over the last couple of years has been on a slow process to migrate some of the tools and features found in the legacy control panel and moving those over to the settings menu found in both Windows 10 and 11. Now at the moment, this is a bit of a backwards and forwards process, a two-way street, so to speak, as some of the control panel features are available in the control panel and also in the settings menu and then also vice versa. Some settings menu features and tools are also still available in the control panel. Now, in the latest Windows 11 Dev Channel build that rolled out to insiders recently, that's build 22523, Microsoft has now started moving two more control panel features and tools over to the settings menu again. And the first is to do with your programs and features, which is where, as many of you know, your programs are installed, not your apps, just your programs. Now, I know I'm demonstrating this to you using uh, Windows 11, the stable version, but I'm sure that by the end of the video, you will get the general idea. Now, in that latest dev channel build, your programs and features in the control panel is just going to become a link to the settings page to uninstall or change programs on your device. Now, in that dev channel build, if you click on programs and features, this will redirect you to the settings menu, apps, and this will now be called installed apps, where you'll get a list now of all your apps, features, and programs installed, where you can uninstall and change your programs accordingly. So that's the first change. And the second feature and tool moving over is also to do with programs and features. And that's your view installed updates, where as you know, this is where you can uninstall updates installed on your PC. Now, in that latest dev channel build, your uninstall uh, updates is moving to your settings windows update and your update history where you will now see that list will now be shown um, in your update history where currently um, it's just a quick link back to the legacy control panel uninstall update so in that latest dev channel build those um, uninstall updates will appear in your update history now so that's just two more legacy control panel features now that Microsoft is moving over in that latest dev channel build, build 22523. And because it's still in the dev channel, it's still early days. So this should these two new uh, changes should roll out to the stable version of Windows 11 sometime next year in 2022. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.